Hello everybody, Christian here, aka Mr. CZC, and today I'm going to show you how to download Fantasy Star Online 2. And yes, it's in Japanese because it's it's only released in Japan, and if you don't want to download the Japanese version, well, you have to wait till early 2013. But it is very much worth it because there are so many places you can go to figure out what to do, and if you played Fantasy Star Universe, or Fantasy Star All My One and Episode Two, then you know the basics of the game. Okay? And if you don't, then you can go check out my starter guide. Okay, so let's get started. This is the, the link right here where you go to, and it'll be in the description below. Okay? So what, when you go to the link, you want to be using Google Chrome because at the top you can see this page has been translated from Japanese to English and no I do not want to show the original because I can't read it okay so it's like you can download from this page you can play for free the basic Fantasy Star Online 2 so the first thing you do is you click this big button and what will pop up down here is the downloader exe which is just the installer and yes, it's going to take uh, hours to download because it's not with the disc, obviously. Like World of Warcraft, if you don't have a disc, it takes hours and hours to download. Diablo 3 takes hours and hours to download without a disc. And if you had a disc, you would have had to get it from Japan. So this is step two. All you have to do is click the arrow. See, step one is right here. Step two, I mean, they made it so easy for you. It's just you have to figure out the site to go to and what to do and I'm going to show you so let's continue. So this is step two. Okay, this is just the game client with the, like the download client. Sorry, and it's just telling you right this doesn't even matter. You don't even have to mess with that. It just tells you how much time it's going to take, um, what, how long it's been going, what percent is done and there's one other thing but I forgot and it's not really that important but the thing that is important is the download just doesn't automatically start you have to start it by clicking this button right here this is the start button and then you'll see the thing start moving it'll be like 0.01% but you it'll wait like 10-20 seconds before you'll see that depending on how great your internet connection is but you be sure to click the start button you have to see the, the time start moving and the percentage start moving do not make that mistake <laughs> okay here's step three when a download is complete the game software a dialogue will be displayed yes press the destination the installation of the game will start all you have to do is press the box that says why do not click no or else you just wasted hours <laughs> anyways and then this is what pops up you press Y and then this pops up and that's just saying where this is gonna go you do not mess with that just click this button okay and then guess what you're done okay you're gonna have to update it it's gonna or it's gonna automatically update or you have to press Y again or something I don't know because they keep changing it but it's simple all you have to do is press Y or it might even be done Okay, actually it is done because sorry that this is my fault. This is this is uh, saying that yes, I w for the patches. Okay, and the patches do take like an hour, not not an hour, probably forty five minutes, half hour, fifteen minutes if your computer's like internet connection's great. And then all you do is make a Sega ID, and here we'll go there. It's so easy to make a Sega ID. I mean, they don't even mail you, okay? Oh, they do email you, and then you have to click the first link they send you. And the thing that's weird with this is you have to register the game that you're playing. Um, so it's really easy. You'll figure it out. Just go along with what it says, but be sure to use Google Chrome. And thank you for watching another video of Fantasy Star Universe, or sorry, Fantasy Star Online 2, sorry, I'm so used to playing it on Xbox 360. <laughs> and uh, be sure to use a PC controller if you have one, because it makes the game's experience ten times better. 
I mean, you feel like you're playing a way updated game ahead of its time, and it is just overall fun, and I cannot wait for the American version, and I hope all of you have as much fun as I do, and continue to subscribe to me, go to my Facebook fan page, all the links will be in the crotch of this video. Enjoy everybody.